Let's talk origami logic at gates. Um, a paper recently um, allowed us to see some widgets that actually do some logic processing. I quite like the, these little widgets. Th these are mostly based on a triangle twist. This is an OR gate. So the idea behind the operation of an OR is that if there is a true present in the operands, then the answer will always be true. The only way to get a false is if both operands are false. So in this case, we've got two inputs, one false, the other false, and the output has been calculated by the paper widget as false. If I introduce a true on either of the inputs, say so there's a true input, it forces the output to be true. If I put that back to false, and then force a true here, it has the same effect. It forces the output Oops, that's a little wiggle in that widget. It forces the output to be true. So true and true or false is true. False or false is false. False or true is true. Pretty cool. The and is slightly different. The idea behind an and is that false. If there's a false in either operand, then the, an the um, answer of the operation will be false. So if I do true and true, that's the only way to get a true as the output. This is the output, two operands, true and true. The moment I introduce a false, then the widget automatically calculates the output as false. So we put that to true and change that one to false, then you'll notice the widget causes the output to be false. So that's a, a correct AND as well. The NOT operation merely switches the state of the bit. So if the bit is a, a true or a one, then it gets switched to a false. Um, this is a hex twist or something similar to a hex twist. And this is the input, this is the output. If I change the input to be a true, you'll notice that the widget, oops, does a flip-flop and causes the false to be processed into a true. This is pretty hoopy. Um, there are a bunch of other um, binary operations encoded in the paper that, I've, that I read, written by Tom Hull and, uh, et, uh, and others, um, but th these ones are the ones that I've tried so far. I thought it was quite interesting, um, trying to prove that origami can be used to make a Turing-complete computer. So in theory, you could have multiples of these things um, connected to each other. It'd be in a, a, a triangle grid, but you could actually put multiple um, bit streams. These are these are the, bit, the incoming bit streams. You could have multiples of those going into multiple operations and work stuff out. That's pretty interesting.